Uh, hey, this feels a little weird. It's not a sponsored video. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the last one wasn't really sponsored pretty much this is just like an update video But it's also like my typical fucking commentary videos where I talk shit about well YouTube It's not like I've ever done that before I'm assuming the majority of you already know about the news and just what's been going on I just wanted to explain my reasoning for what I've been doing and like why I've uploaded the videos that I've been uploading So my past couple of videos have been sellout videos pretty much just me gambling or opening cases on a CSGO case opening website and and obviously I'm not doing this for free. They're not paying me like money. They're just paying me in pretty much giving me the ability to gamble on their site. So they'll give me like 300 or 500 or however much they want me to gamble on their site or open cases on their site. So that alone is like really cool because I have the ability to make an entertaining video gambling. Something I typically wouldn't be able to do, especially right now with how shitty YouTube is. I have the opportunity to just fuck off and just fuck around on a fucking website that I typically wouldn't be able to do. And then also the benefit of that video is depending Depending on who the company is, I have the ability to withdraw all of my winnings, I have the ability to withdraw only like $200, $100, whatever, but it's still profit for me because I'm making an entertaining video, again, something I wouldn't be able to do unless it's sponsored, and I get some sort of value out of it. Now for those of you who aren't in CSGO and don't even know like how valuable skins or maybe you just think like, oh, skins, they're just virtual, oh, you, you just get Steam money for it or some bullshit. I've been in the game for a while, I've fucked with skins for a long time, I see this as like like an investment, kind of like the stock market, and I can turn this into real cash if I wanted to. YouTube has gotten so bad recently, and is continuously getting worse, to the point where it made H3H3 Productions quit YouTube. And obviously they didn't quit YouTube, but their priorities have completely switched. They said they're not going to be making as many videos on YouTube as they did before, or at least on the H3 channel, the one where the channel that is constantly getting demonetized and just not making any money in general. The fact of the matter is when big youtubers such as them are switching platforms or not putting youtube as their main priority there's a fucking problem especially when they're in the same genre as me <laughs> and they have like four plus million subs the thing that's been really fucking us lately now youtube's gotten to the point where they're like hey everyone knows that we demonetize videos without telling people and they found this out by looking into their video manager and seeing cross with the dollar sign saying fuck you you're not making money on this well now they have it to where you don't even know if your video is technically demonetized or is fully monetized and what I mean by that is now pretty much demonetization is next to impossible when it comes to what it was literally like not even a month ago for example I'm gonna use the h3 again when he made that Pepsi video he was bashing Pepsi and well YouTube's reasoning for not demonetizing their video but basically stripping all of its ability of ads was because of the blood that was in a very short scene they're not demonetizing our videos because because if they did that, we would see it. We would see it in the video manager. It would say demonetized. There would be no way in hell that we would be able to make a dime off of the video. But now what they're doing to basically avoid, I guess, us from seeing if we are making money off of a video or not, they gave advertisers options. If the video is marked as like inappropriate language, then a certain advertiser can be like, okay, I'm fine with this. But if it's something like nudity or whatever, then they can click off and then say fuck you to that video. Pretty much they make it to where we have the ability to occasionally get an ad on our video, but we're not full monetized. We're not fully monetized on that video. So unlike before where we weren't able to make any money, now we're able to make like 50 cents instead of the $500 we fucking uh, originally made. So back to the whole reason why I... So this has really been fucking a lot of us. And the reason why is, well, if you couldn't have guessed it already, fucking communication. Something that YouTube is probably the absolute fucking worst at. Like, I genuinely do not understand how they can't get it through their fucking minds. Every single issue that we have had with YouTube, from like, YouTube to creator, or even YouTube to viewer, YouTube to the fucking community, has been because of lack of communication. It's fucking pathetic. It's insane. And because they're not even demonetizing our videos, we just have to check our analytics on the daily to see if the video is making a normal amount of money or if it got stripped of its advertising. Oh, it still has the ability to make money off the 
video, but pretty much YouTube is preventing you from doing so anyway. Oh, but you still have the ability, that 1 in 700th chance of you getting an ad, oh, it's still there. Unlike before, you just couldn't make any money at all, and you were actually notified, not via email, because, uh, that would be the right thing to do, you just have to check it yourself. My paycheck, like, this, I never, I don't like talking about, like, how much money I make, especially to, like, people. I'm gonna show you how much I'm supposed to make this month. I get paid in seven days as of recording this video. This is the paycheck that I'm estimated to get. Not even $50. Are you fucking kidding me? Now, no shit. Anyone over the age of fucking five can realize I can't live off of that shit at all. That's fucking pathetic. I have lost so much money, and so many other YouTubers have lost so much money. I'm not joking when I say this. This is the lowest YouTube paycheck I will have ever received in my career on YouTube. My very first paycheck was $100 and like two cents. I'm getting paid half of that. I got paid that $100 when I had like 300 subscribers. That genuinely makes me sick. So now back to the reason why I've been doing sellout videos. My last day of school, for at least my first full year of college, ends on the 18th. Now, retardedly enough, all of my classes have it to where we have a fourth final, which is before the final exam, two weeks before the final exam. On top of having this fourth final that I just completed, we have a fuck ton of exams, a fuck ton of group projects, a fuck ton of other projects. On top of now trying to study for the final exam. On top of work, on top of full-time YouTube. The reason why I've been making these sellout videos is one, so I can fucking live. It's also a lot of bigger YouTubers of mine, they they told me, they're like, if you want to survive as a small creator as yourself, especially in the content that you make, you have to sell out. That's why I'm going back into CSGO. One, because I love CSGO. I've always loved CSGO. I was just taking a long break from it, but my, my fucking gameplay, like every commentator fucking video is CSGO. <laughs> For the type of content that I create, sponsored CSGO videos, they'd make me the most money they'd be the most entertaining, and my viewers, or at least in the past when I did gaming, that's what they were into at the time. Even if you don't like CSGO, gambling in general, watching me lose money, <laughs> or even earn money, it's a cool thing. And I get to show you some cool websites, and you guys get codes to free money, so you could potentially build up some profit for your own inventory on Steam. Luckily, you guys have understood my situation, and no one really, like, hated me for making these sponsored videos. I just wanted to clear up why I've been doing this. And also, going back to the reason, like, talking about school, these sponsored videos, they're actually not really easy to make at all. They take a long time to edit, but they're good filler videos while I'm trying to get my shit done because I'm at a point where I'm trying to work my ass off five times harder than I worked fucking three months ago to earn 80%, 90% less than I would have three months ago. There's a lot of behind the scenes shit that you guys don't see. It's not just cut and dry like I record, I upload, I make money, I j jerk off. I, I, I mean, that is pretty much it, but while I'm jerking off, I email people and then I nut on my keyboard and I have to buy a new keyboard and that. that's where my expenses go. So first, if you made it this far into the video, you have no fucking life. And uh, two, 10 minute videos aren't even paying me shit. Like to the point where it's not even worth slightly degrading my content to make it 10 minutes to get that extra ad revenue. I finished editing and I realized I didn't even finish my fucking conversation to myself in this dildo mic because I have no friends. So yeah, my other alternative was since I'm gonna have to result to more sponsors sponsored videos and as of right now ad revenue is paying next to nothing like I said I'm literally I, I pretty much lost all of my paycheck for absolute bullshit since a lot of youtubers are moving over to other platforms or like h3 did is setting their priorities differently and they set their priorities over to twitch I'm on twitch every day I've been in the twitch community for like four or five years I've been streaming on and off on there for about three to four years I'm not super big on streaming compared to making videos I don't enjoy it as much but I may start streaming streaming a lot more just to hopefully compensate a little bit for the major loss in money from YouTube. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't want to result to a Patreon. I do have an account created and I'm starting to make an actual page, but as of right now, it's not live for you guys. I mean, it's not like you guys want to support some fucking retard virgin who, who makes shit content. <laughs> Being completely honest, I genuinely believe I wouldn't get any backers anyway. It's not like my content's worth anything. So, so fuck off. You have to deal with the sponsored videos. YouTube is shutting down my channel and I don't know what to do. Beautiful bastards. YouTube is inadvertently killing me and I don't know what to do. YouTube is making me homeless and I don't know what to do. I can't even afford bleach to kill myself. Nyuk, 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 nyuk.